You are just crushing it, Nick. And uh, I'm wondering how things have changed from this year to last for you so far. Yeah, it's been great. I mean, the fun's all in the wind, and that's what we've been doing here. So having a lot of fun this year, you know, way more fun than I've had the past two years here. Again, things done. I think I think it definitely started with the coaches. I think um, Coach Defense has done a great job proving himself as a leader, and we're all following him, and he's just instilled inside of us. The only way to win is to work, and that's what we're doing now. And, I mean, um, yeah, we have a lot of fun winning games. Got to keep it going. Well, let's let's – I'd like to pull on that thread a little bit here that you just uh, mentioned about the coaches. How has the, the, the Stefanski staff been different? Well, I think just for the most part, they um, they all came in. They're all together. They're all one one unit working together, coaching us. And I think I think the team definitely follows them, and we understand what Coach Stefanski wants. He wants us to be a team and nothing else. He wants us to play for each other and to go out there and practice hard every day and do everything right and, it definitely leads to victories on Sundays. Well, he also um, likes to run the football too, doesn't he, Nick Chubb? He likes that. Yeah, he does. He does like <laughs> to run the football. <laughs> and you do as well. <laughs> three straight 100-yard games, Nick. Uh, what's happened in the last three weeks, do you think, for you? Yeah, it's definitely been crazy because um, three, four weeks ago, I was I was out. I, I had a, a knee injury and. I was pushed right back into it, right into the fire. And for me, it was it was definitely more mentally than physically. I knew that my knee was right, but to go out there and actually get hit in the knee and it was it was it was great as ever. And I knew I was back to normal. And after that, I mean, I just took off. And the past three weeks, I have been great. I mean, I think our O line has done a great job blocking it, but done a great job in the run game. And yeah, we have well over 100 yards a game. The last three games, I've been back, so things are. Things have been great. How about Baker? As he's gone four straight games without an interception, first time in his career. How is how has he improved from your perspective, standing right next to him, all the time? Yeah, Baker, yeah, Baker's great. I mean, he's definitely improved a lot, and I think I think one thing that he's definitely proud of proud himself in over the last weeks. No, no turnovers. He's doing a great job taking care of the ball. He's doing a great job making plays for us. I mean, he's definitely he's part of his offense. He makes it go. So, uh, you know, the, the, the concept uh, for, for the Browns is, is simple, I guess. Just run the ball, don't turn it over, let the defense go to work. You guys are 8-3. and three. What are you saying in the locker room about what you can do this year, 2020? What are you guys talking about when you get around there? Hey, we're, we're, we're trying to get better every day. I mean, the, the, the games we have won, I mean, I, I feel like, I feel like we, we could have done better in all of them. I feel like we definitely left yards on the field, points on the field. And I feel like every – Every unit, offense, defense, best thing we all can say that we we can improve, we can get better. But I mean, it is signs of, of a good team to still win and not and not not play its best. So I think we are still heading in the right direction. But it's still, so many things we can clean up, and that we still have more potential to be an even better team. No doubt. But what do you what do you think? I mean, you know, coming up, you've got games against Baltimore. You've blown out in Week One. I'm sure you'd like to show what you can do there. You're going to be on the same field as Derrick Henry the week before that. Pittsburgh at the end of the year. I mean, you you have a shot here to make some considerable hay and win some playoff games. Are you talking about that right now, Nick? Yeah, yeah, it's very true. But we're gonna take it one week at a time. We're gonna start with the Titans. That's that's definitely a huge challenge for this team. I'm sure everybody's watching because the worry right now is that we can't beat you know the the, the great teams. Mm-hmm. And I mean, we here and we know that. So I mean, it's, it's a great time, great chance for us to prove. Can play play with a great team. And how about being on the same field as Derrick Henry, the way that he's playing too, Nick? I mean, what what is that challenge for you, knowing that you're going to be going in a game against a guy who's just been punking everybody and going through the whole last few weeks? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be great. I mean, definitely a good challenge, challenge for me and Kareem to, to say that we can't be as great as you know Derrick Henry, and I'm sure everybody will sure be headlines and all that. But, I mean, I'm just going to do what I always do. I'm going to go out there, trust him, be believe in myself. I'm going to play hard for my team. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.